Why is it that a negative multiplied by another negative always equals to a positive answer? This is one of the most commonly asked questions in math and a quick YouTube search. Uh, personally, myself, I've been quite disappointed with the explanations to why this occurs. And another question I also hear from students is, you know, Mr. Melham, in the multiplication table, I could see the relevance of it. I see it in my life, but what's the deal with these negative numbers? When will I ever have to multiply negatives in my life? Well, the answer to that may actually surprise you quite a bit. There are so many examples of negative numbers being multiplied. I'm going to show you one example today involving something we use every day, which is money. And I'm going to make it extremely visual for you. I'm going to break this lesson up into two parts. However, the first part um, is going to focus strictly on the symbols. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the numbers, but predominantly the focus will be on the symbols. And in the second half of the lesson, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about how the numbers work. So let's go ahead and start with this. I'm going to show you a quick cartoon here, a little guy here. He's got some money and he's really happy. Got two bags, change. I've got another guy here who's got a lot more money than him, but he's not very happy and it's on his back. It's a symbolic kind of cartoon. Now, the reason that the difference in, uh, I guess, uh, emotion and expression here, this guy's positive, this guy's feeling quite negative, is because this guy earned his money. He earned every dollar of it. He worked hard for it. So we call money earned positive amounts and we can symbolize them using these chips, these red chips. Now look, money is not red, but we're going to code it red to Im indicate that he earned that money. He worked for it. Now this guy's got a ton of money. He probably could buy so much with this money, but the reason why he's um, feeling this way is because this money, he didn't earn this money. He borrowed this money and it's a debt that he has to pay back. And so we can call debts negative values because you got to pay them back. That money is going to have to leave your pocket and go back to the bank or whoever lends you the money. So we've got here two examples, both having money and these guys can both buy stuff. However, the meaning of the money, and actually I should probably show you over here, this kind of money we're going to symbolize with these blue chips. Uh, not because money uh, that's borrowed is blue, but because we're going to code it blue so we know where, where it's going to be end up going. That This is borrowed money. Now they could both buy, this is a dollar, this is a dollar, for example, you could buy, you know, the bag of chips with both of them, but this money is not his, it's the bank's. And this money is not the bank's, it's his. Now I want to talk a little bit about this, because this debt over here, um, we all experience this every time you go and buy stuff with your credit card. Say you see a nice pair of shoes, you pull out your credit card because you don't want to pay cash, you swipe the card and you take the shoes home, guess who paid for that? It wasn't you, it was the bank or the credit card company. Now you got to pay them back. So this is debt that you've incurred on yourself and it's not good money unless you pay your credit card back on time. So how does this relate to that? That's going to be the purpose of this entire lesson because multiplying negatives and positives, you know, the whole deal there involves this kind of system. We have to understand it this way. I mean, that's one way. All right. So let's go ahead and kind of relate it to this, but I don't want to look at these negatives yet. I want to cover them up. I just want to look at the numbers. It's good that we go back to basics for a minute. If I give you this equation here, let's see what this is trying to tell us. This is saying two, but the multiplication symbol is stating really groups of, that's all it's saying is like make groups, put some money in the bag, two groups of money, two bags of money, just like what this guy's got. And we're going to put three bucks inside of each bag. So he earned three here and he earned three there. That's $6. That's exactly what this is trying to say. Now, once we put a symbol in and another symbol, you may think that, oh my God, they're both negatives. They must mean the same thing. Uh -uh. This negative and this negative mean different things according to how the math equation is built. I'm going to teach you what they mean. Let's focus on this one here. Yes, debt is negative, but only sometimes. I'm going to show you when it is and when it isn't. In the first number in multiplication, since we're talking about groups, if it's a, subtra if it's a negative, it's telling us to subtract groups, subtract two groups of three. What does that mean? It means 
find two groups of three. Find them. Oh, here they are. Two groups of three bucks each. And subtract it out of the guy's hands. That's what it means. Subtract two groups. So pull them out. There. You subtracted groups. But if it's a positive, we are not going to say subtract. Instead, we are going to say add two groups. How do you add two groups of money? You go up to the guy, you say, here's two bags, here you go. <laughs> you just added two groups of uh, $3 in each one. That's what this first symbol means. And what does the second symbol mean? It doesn't mean add and it doesn't mean subtract. That's only the first number. This symbol is talking about this. It's talking about the earnings. Well, if it's negative, it's going to be the debt. But if it's a positive, it's going to be earnings. How do you add groups of earnings? Just the way you see it. You say, here, you earned two bags, two groups, two bags, and I'm going to give it to you. That's adding two groups of earnings. So then what does this mean? Adding two groups of debt with three bucks. Oops, let's change the symbol. And I'm going to put three dollars debt inside of each bag. This is what that means. We're talking about this guy here. You give him a bag of debt and you add another bag. See, we're adding groups of debt. So you add debt onto him. Now he has to pay it back. That's a bad scenario. So we have here adding debt. Now what's the opposite of adding debt? You could subtract debt. And that's where the double negative kicks in. Because if you subtract two groups of negative three, which is the debt, you subtract debt. Get rid of this group here. Forget this. Just say subtract debt. You know what that would mean? It would mean go to this guy and subtract his debt. How's he going to feel if you do that? You go to him, you pull off all that debt. He's going to feel awesome. He's going to feel great. He's going to be richer because now he doesn't have to owe as much money anymore. So that takes us now to this final group. So let's review so far what we have, however, before we move on to that. The first group tells us, the first number tells us to either add or subtract groups. That's the first number. This clearly means groups of, and just to save space, I'm going to get rid of it. Um, the second number tells us if it's debt or earnings. Okay, if it's positive, it's earnings. If it's negative, it's debt. Now, what does the answer indicate? If he's richer or poorer. You see, when you multiply or you subtract debt, when you subtract debt, you become richer, your answer will be positive. That's basically the explanation. If you don't want to watch any further, just know this. Negative means subtracting. This means groups of debt. You're subtracting debt. You're pulling that debt off. He's going to get richer. Richer is a positive answer. We get a positive value. Now, look, if you want to watch uh, further, I'm going to explain it in more depth. Uh, let's go on with it. I'm going to get rid of these numbers here. And I'm just going to throw symbols. I don't want to focus on the numbers anymore. I want to focus on just these symbols. And I want you to help me out with this. Um, I won't need this yet. So I'm going to move this to the side. But I do want to focus on this first example. I have a positive multiplied by a positive equals a positive. Why? Because this positive here, what does it indicate? Well, it's either adding or subtracting groups. In fact, let's make it more clear. Let's break this up into groups. Let's do it like this. Let's be really neat and organized. With three categories. Forget this. This is just, uh, you know, groups of. Hey, we can leave it there if we want. This here means add or subtract group. Which one is this? It's add. So we'll say add. Add groups of. That's not debt. That's going to be earnings. If we add groups of earnings, we're adding earnings. He's going to get richer or poorer? Richer. Positive. Great. Let's move on to the next example. How about a positive multiplied by um, multiplied by negative? We're going to flip that sign instead of a positive we'll multiplied by a negative. Now, what is this telling us? Is it telling us add or subtract? The first number is positive, it's adding. This means groups. 
Don't have to worry about that one. But what am I adding? I'm adding groups of debt. So I'm going to get the debt sign. Positive times negative is adding groups of debt. If you add debt, here's a picture of adding debt. You're adding debt. Oh my God, is that going to make him richer or poorer? Yeah, poorer. So you're going to get this, negative. Your answer will be negative. He's going to get poorer. So let's jump to another example. How about if I get a negative and multiply it by a positive? Flip the order around. Now what is this involving? Well, let's see here. This negative is saying what? It's saying subtract. This is groups of. This one is debt or earnings? Earnings. Okay. So are we looking at this guy or this guy? This guy. He's got the earnings. Subtract his earnings. Either steal it from him. That's not nice. Or how else can you subtract someone's earnings? Maybe spend it. Right. Okay. If he spends his earnings, what's going to happen? He's going to get richer or poorer? He's going to get poorer. So what's the answer going to be? Negative. A negative times a positive is a negative answer. You get poorer. Jumping on to the last one, which is the title of this video. So I don't just stick to the title. I kind of go more in depth with that. It's for your own good. So we got this here. We got negative times negative. So what are we talking about here? Uh, first one, subtract. Subtract groups of Groups of what? Debt or earnings? Debt. Okay. So you're subtracting debt. What happens if you subtract debt? Go up to this uh, debt guy. Here's the debt. Subtract it. Make his life better. Pop it off. Forgive him for the debt. He gets richer or poorer? Richer. Richer is positive. We've solved the mystery. We know now why a negative times a negative equals a positive. This is the reason why if you think money, we do this all the time. Every time you pay off your credit card debt, what are you doing? You are subtracting your debt. You've got a thousand dollar credit card debt because you do a lot of crazy shopping and every month you pay $200 towards that debt. And you do that for five months. If you do that for five months, guess what's happening? You're subtracting debt. And when you subtract debt, you become richer. Negative times negative is a positive. You're subtracting your debt, you get a positive answer. Let's go to part two of this video where we look at how this actually works. We're going to bring this guy back for our example and we're going to simplify our numbers down. I just want to get the point across with simple numbers. So in his bank account at the moment, he's got zero dollars. So this is what his bank statement says. So he decides to go get a job and it involves cutting some lawn. And each lawn that he cuts, he's going to charge three dollars. Again, we're talking simple numbers here just to get the point across. So he cuts the first lawn and he earns three dollars. Remember, earning is going to be the three, the, the red ones. So he earns three dollars and the second lawn he earns three dollars so our multiplication equation at the moment is going to say well are we adding groups or are we subtracting groups we're adding groups so he's getting paid baby he's getting richer we're saying he added two groups groups of what three dollars and effectively, that's going to make $6. So we can say positive $6. That's how much money he has in his bank account at the moment. And so his new bank statement says $6. But then he goes to the store and he uses his credit card. Remember, credit cards are loans. Okay, so he buys something for $3 on his credit card. So say he buys a pair of, sho pair of shoes for you know $3. <laughs> Again, simple numbers. And then he goes to another store and he sees a nice shirt. Another $3. We're going to ignore the red for a minute. We're just going to look at the blue. Ignore the red. 
What's the equation here? What have we added? We've added a loan. We've added a debt. So we've added how many groups of debt? Two groups. So now we've added two groups. This is the groups of debt. Debt is negative numbers. So let's put a dollar sign here. Of negative three dollars, he's gonna owe that money back. That's gonna be worth negative six dollars. That's what he has to pay back. So looking at this, this makes negative six. You can count them, negative six. Two groups of negative three is negative six. What's his total value now? Zero again. He's back at zero. The positive six, now he owes six dollars. He's worth nothing because he's got to pay it all back. All that money in his account is going to have to go towards paying that loan. But then his best friend comes along and he says, hey, yo, man, you know what? You've been such a great friend. I'm going to help you out, my friend. I'm going to help you out so much that that debt that you have on your credit card, I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to subtract your debt. I'm going to remove your debt so you have no more debt. I'm going to effectively, this is what he's saying in equation words, he is going to subtract two groups, two groups of what? Negative three. He's going to subtract two groups of negative three. Look what happens. He subtracts the first group. He subtracts the second group. He subtracted this guy's debt. What's his value now? It's not zero anymore. He's back up to plus six now. He's been forgiven this debt. He's back up to plus six dollars. He got richer. Negative two times negative three is positive six dollars. That's why this stuff works. Don't memorize simple, silly rules and, and things that you're gonna forget. This is the real deal. This is why it works and this is why I love teaching this stuff. Guys, if this lesson was so helpful for you and you benefited from it, click the like button and please, you know what? Share the video and even better than that, in the comment section below, tell me what you think about this. And if you have any future ideas for lessons, type it in. I'll be happy to make you any lessons that you want. I love teaching this stuff and I want to educate the world. I want to educate you guys on the meaning of all of this. It could be science, could be physics, could be, could be, could be any topic in math, high school, whatever you want. But you know what bottom line is that you guys are learning. I love teaching you this stuff, guys. And um, I guess I'll leave you with this. Thank you very much. And I can't wait to teach you the next lesson. Have a good day. See you later.